Being part of the fish keeping community is not always about self gratification or the glamour of being famous. It's coming together to enjoy one thing, our love of keeping fascinating aquatic creatures in our homes. The satisfaction of caring for our animals and all the health benefits aquariums can offer for our well-being. It's forgetting the likes, the followers and meeting other like-minded enthusiasts around the world that others may not even understand or get why we keep these animals or do have insane glass boxes full of water in our homes. It's our hobby to share and promote a positive attitude full of knowledge and supportiveness to each other. It's not about bashing each other online, condescending, making fun of beginner mistakes. It's about helping build a community we can be proud of. Too often we see perfect aquariums where everything appears to be going right. No disasters, no acknowledging the things that went wrong or the anxiety and stress it caused us. For all you newcomers in the hobby, this is my statement to say it happens. We all make beginner mistakes. We all impulse buy, forget to feed our fish, don't have time for water changes, or our fish die because we didn't put them in the right environment. It happens to us all. So this is a message from myself and all the other members of the community who will tell you they make mistakes. It's okay, it's not wrong, and we should share to help each other too. Hello there, it's me, the Everyday Aquarist. And yes, mistakes in fish keeping is just par for the course. It happens all the time. I've made so many mistakes over my career as an aquarist and the main thing is that you learn from them. Always progress further on in the hobby. Try not to make the same mistake twice. Although it does happen, I've done it numerous times. One thing I would say though, is it's very important to try and do your research before keeping any fish tank, because we don't want to be making mistakes where the livestock are affected or the fish die because of something you've done wrong. However, it does happen. It's always going to happen in this hobby. However, let's try and avoid it where we can. Hi, my name is Ty Streetman. I am a freshwater biologist, aquarist. Uh, I write about fish keeping. I've kept fish since I was eight years old and I have made plenty of mistakes in my time. Um, the thing about mistakes is learning from them, using them to improve your fish keeping, improve the care that you give to the animals uh, that you're looking after and build, build from it learn from it. Hey Jody Skipper here and if you're wondering about making mistakes I've made tons and tons of mistakes it's the norm but the main thing is we'll learn from those mistakes so enjoy the hobby make mistakes who cares. Hi there Nathan here from Simply Shrimps now we're only human and we're gonna make mistakes some bigger than others and some are only little ones now one mistake that I've done is when I was filling up this 500 litre aquarium when it was set up I left the hose pipe in and running and it overflowed and drenched the carpet. Whoops. What's up guys? I'm Will with Northwest Aqua Hobby. I've been keeping planted aquariums for about eight years and over those eight years, I've definitely made my fair share of mistakes. And I continue to make mistakes from time to time. It's just part of the hobby. What I think is really important for new planted aquarium hobbyists to understand is that Number one, it's important to do your research. And then number two, I think it's really important to experiment and learn from what works and learn from what doesn't work. If you do those things, guys, then you're gonna be keeping beautiful planted tanks in no time. Remember, it's not about glorified images online. It's about being transparent to your fellow hobbyists and sharing your experiences, both the good and importantly, the bad. We grow together by sharing and most importantly, keeping it real.